Hello everyone. I think it was not a long time ago that we met and we discussed on a projector from Epson, which is the latest full HD resolution projector, that is Epson EHTW5820. And today with me, I have got that projector, and we are going to do an unboxing. We are going to test the product, and we are going to see whether this projector really deserves the price of rupees one lakh twenty six thousand nine hundred and ninety. Yes, that's the Indian price. uh just a little bit of background before we jump on to it so epson earlier had a model called ehtw5650 which was one of the most recognized and one of the most highest selling projector ever in the full hd resolution category and that projector was priced at around 96000 indian rupees uh, unfortunately that projector is no more available in the indian markets and epson has come up with a new product that is ehtw5820 Hello everyone. I am Tanmay Mehta, your home technology consultant at Touchwood Automations. And in this video, like always, I am going to help you make better, well-informed, and correct decisions when it comes to buying anything and everything in home technology industry. Yes, we have been doing this for a long time, and I really feel that if people like you have benefited from these videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel right here, right now, because your subscription encourages me to. continuously do this particular video or these kind of videos which are helping each one of you as i said to make right decisions so let's get started So guys, this is what it is in the box. You have got an Epson 3D glass that has come along with the projector. I think that's a limited offer from Epson. So for those of you who are looking to book this projector, make sure to book it ASAP because you won't get 3D glasses later, and that's a limited period offer from Epson. On your left of the projector, you can see two remotes. So surprisingly, we have got two remotes with the projector. I believe that one remote is. for the android tv application that comes along with this particular projector the other has got the projector controls as well as the android tv remote so that's a benefit then you've got a usb cable which is for the servicing and then you've got a power supply cable so these are the things that have come across with the box look at the projector compared to the 5650 you can see that this projector is aesthetically more appealing uh in terms of dimensions the width and the height is same but the depth has increased and i believe that is to accommodate the android tv uh, this copper gold ring in the front is really adding to the look of the projector you have got the lens over here an exhaust on this side this is where the air filter of the projector is and there's a fantastic grill on the rear side of the projector now just like the ls 500b this particular model has also got a fabric grill there is a speaker on the right hand side there is a power supply connection and then there is one hdmi input and one audio output to this particular projector now there is one missing factor as you can see when the grill is pasted to the projector which is through the magnetic thing you can't really access these cables there is no Way that the cable can go in. So if at all you are going to use it with home theater, you will have to let go of the grill and just use the projector like this. On this side, you have got the service access again. This is for accessing the lamp of the projector, and that's pretty much a nice body. On top of the projector, you have got the lens button. You have got the focus and the zoom. Over here, you have got a horizontal key st keystone, and there is also a vertical lens shift. And these are all the controls.
So as you can see, we are greeted by the Android TV application. This is a small setup process to get your projector connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, within two minutes, we'll have it up and running. And this is how the home screen will greet you. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same interface like a MI box Android TV would have. So you've got all your apps over here. You can also add apps. You, have, you will have to link your Android Google account with this particular projector and you've got your settings on the right hand side wherein you can also pair different Bluetooth devices. So the best you can see that there is a JBL bar 9.1 on the right hand side. So that's basically to pair your projector wirelessly with any sound system. So that's why this particular projector from Epson is more targeted for the consumer market. Uh, wherein you want a handy quick solution just to keep the projector have your screen and connect any audio system wirelessly you can also pair your wireless bluetooth headphones you can connect your remote so they have got two remotes you will have to pair both the remotes with the projector because they again work on bluetooth one of the remotes work on ir but we are yet to check on that remote so currently we are using this remote which is got the primary functions of the projector you've got youtube apps you know the home function the input selection so this is the first look of the projector really producing a lot of sharp images you can see the color variation the contrast really comes out very very nice the contrast of this projector is 70000 to 1 and the lumens is around 2700 lumens Considering high lumens and a better contrast, you are getting this kind of quality picture. And we are currently on the bright cinema mode. Let's try changing the modes. So as you can see, we have not done any setting. It's all by default. This is the dynamic version of it. This is natural. This is cinema. So cinema and natural give you a little bit of economy mode images but bright cinema is wherein you really start enjoying this projector. So ideally if you're using it for your living room or any ambient lit right purpose then bright cinema I think would be a better mode to enjoy this projector. You've got all the basic settings over here. So for a 100 inches screen size, this projector needs to be placed at a distance of 9 feet 8 inches to somewhere around 15 feet 8 inches. So that's the distance of the lamp to the uh, or the lens to the projector screen. So it has got quite a nice zoom ratio which is 1.6x and that is the reason why you have got a huge range to install the projector for a 100 inches screen size. So similarly as the screen size will start increasing, the range will also start increasing for the throw distance. The speaker has got a 10 watts inbuilt uh, speaker, though it's not that great and I would not recommend anybody to use that. So pair it with some good Bluetooth headphones or Bluetooth sound bars and you will be able to enjoy your projector properly. So guys, this is the projector, this is what you can see on the screen and let us know your opinion about this projector in the comments below because before I begin to jump into my review and my verdict on this projector, I would love to know what are your thoughts on buying this Epson EHTW5820 projector as a replacement model for the EHTW5650 earlier predecessor model. So I'll be awaiting your comments and from my end, I think that this projector has got a fantastic design. I mean, in terms of aesthetic look, this projector is, is really, really nice for your living room, bedroom kind of application. 
pretty small in size compared to the 7100 which is the successor to this in terms of couple of design challenges i what i felt was the grill part of it you really needed a small gap or a way wherein we can have the cables connected to the projector and yet have the grill installed to the projector so that was one of the a product design fault that i would say from our end uh, that i feel is missing in it in terms of picture quality no doubt epson has always been better and we love the lcd quality of the projection this is what you can see right here is a fantastic image that has been produced by this projector so in terms of the contrast in terms of the lumens this projector has got a big thumbs up but when it comes to the price of investing 126990 in a projector epson ehtw5820 the thought that comes to my mind is can i not pay you know few more thousands and buy the 4k pro usd model which is the epson ehtw7100 yes that's my question to all of you what would you choose would you choose the 7100 or would you choose the 5820 model let me know in the comments below also for those of you who haven't checked our video on 7100 i am going to share a link right after this video wherein you are going to watch or you can watch the 7100 unboxing video and you can take a call between this and that projector we would also try to do a live comparison between both the projectors obviously the resolutions are going to be different 4k versus full hd so may not be ideal but when it comes to price point they are pretty much equivalent and separated by only 12000 rupees mrp difference yes 126990 versus 138990 that's the difference we are talking about and for that reason stop me from buying this projector and i would rather spend some more thousands and buy the ehtw7100 but two more benefits that you get from this projector one is a 3d glass that is coming along with this projector so that's something that you will get if you are booking the projector soon and what i expected from this projector was obviously a new remote from epson considering that this has got android tv but they don't just give you one remote they give you second remote as well now this remote as i said is primarily for your android tv control and this is for your projector as well as android tv control so these are the two benefits you have got your bluetooth devices which you can pair with this projector and everything is very very smooth very very fast the turn off and the turn off uh, on and off period of this projector is very quick it's roughly around 20 seconds so 10 to 20 seconds so it may not take that longer for the screen or for the image to get on the screen so that's it from my end guys i would love to know your views on this projector so don't forget to comment and for those of you who are looking for a more customized or a more personalized solution don't forget to check the description for our t20 link yes that's an exclusive service just for you where in you and i will talk for 20 minutes and i will help you give assurance help you build your system or rather also help you in terms of the right price for the product that you are buying so that's it from my end guys see you once again in my next video thank you